What's up guys to intuitive 717 I am back with another reading let's dive in and find out what your divine masculine wants you to know universe please provide clarity to those who will find the message there could be something in the title that's already resonating let's see what your divine masculines want you to know okay I never thought we'd ever go this long without talking you really cut me off okay so some of you out there in your queen of swords energy I'm getting this vibe of like just having had enough um and I feel like it's maybe something that you've never done in this connection before where you have been the one to cut off communication but i feel like it's weighing heavy on their mind that the communication or the non-communication rather um is lasting this long okay um let's find out what it is they miss about you because i feel like you could be on their mind they could be wanting to reach out but hesitating because they don't know if if you're going to receive that well okay what are their intentions towards you what are they missing how are they feeling okay that's too many universe just one or two cards to work with at a time please and thank you okay so we have forgiving and learning okay so it seems as though like and I've been talking about this in the past readings that I've posted, guys, but many of you are coming to this place of like running out of, of, of steam with this whole separation energy. And I feel like forgiving and learning is on the horizon for a lot of the twin flames because there is this big shift that I'm feeling. It's like you guys are gearing up for um, another round, another round of lessons, but you know what comes before that, a lot of passionate communication, a lot of vulnerability, and I feel like the universe is trying to let you know, like a lot of rewards as well when it comes to just that attraction or that love, that intensity, the euphoria that you both feel. Um, not a lot of people are going to understand that, but on the twin flame journey, um, that energy is really, really potent because I feel like after you guys connect in that way, you end up, you know, kind of going your separate ways and making a lot of big things happen in terms of manifestation. So that is why I feel like there is this big reset to um, Twin Flames connecting at this time, especially for those of you who have not had physical communication, get ready for like physical interactions because that in itself is going to shift a lot of energy and you know may cause some tower moments yes but um at the end of the day it's kind of like gearing up to end this for whatever reason and i feel like it's because a lot of your divine masculines may be wanting your forgiveness they could be learning more about this connection through the separation with you especially around the types of emotions or experiences that they feel when they long for you or miss you because the thing is is like I feel like you two are kind of like strangers, but not really. It's like you feel each other's energy so intensely, but you don't know why because it's like you barely know each other. Well, this is why I feel like both of you are wanting that like physical connection now. And that's why many of you will find that you are um, like the commitment or that bond between you is deepening. It's because, okay, the best way I can put it is the universe is trying to show you just how real this connection is with this person so i do feel like for a majority of the collective again especially for those of you who who have not had physical interactions with your counterpart you are getting ready to experience it what kind of lessons are going to be coming up for you guys in this love okay so release your ex okay connecting physically with one another bonding looking into each other's eyes kissing touching um, those are really important elements of being in a relationship with someone and I feel like for third party situations that have been lingering or looping in cycles, really trying to prevent these two twin flames from meeting in the physical, I feel like it's inevitable at this point. And once you two make physical contact, after that it's going to be a shit storm. And I don't mean to scare anybody. <laughs> um, it'll be a shit storm that you'll be able to handle, don't worry. More so for the divine masculine energy because I do feel like um, in a sense, the divine feminines have a way of moving through a lot of the spiritual stuff with ease because there is this sense of trust. Many of you have a very strong connection to source, the universe. You've been building on that as well through like when you first awakened to your masculine, it really pushed many of you into connecting with source more, your inner self, your spiritual team, like-minded people um, who support you on the journey. So I do feel like for the divine feminine collective, many of you will have the support that you need. Um, but for a lot of the divine masculines, they um, it's going to be really heavy for 
a lot of them when this energy hits. I think that they've been feeling it coming up for a really long time. Um, but yeah, if you two are wondering why it is you're being pulled back together, it's so that either both of you or one of you need to release some kind of karmic situation. And I feel like the karmic energies know that they're getting released or there needs to be some kind of shift or change. Like the thing I'm feeling too is that the karmic collective, they're not supposed to be repeating the same cycles with the divine masculine in this particular lifetime. I feel like it's almost like that's why they sent the divine feminine um, is to help the divine masculine awaken and realize, hey, you're not supposed to kind of get caught up in that loop again because you're going to end up taking it into the next generation or passing it on. There's something about the divine feminine's presence that's meant to help this divine masculine release this karmic connection or this karmic collective of people. It could be one person, um, but that is your job. That is why you are here. That is why you you know, feel all these spiritual attacks, Divine Feminine. Nonetheless, you're very, very equipped to handle it all. But um, yeah, that's why a lot of you are feeling the heat. It's because the separation wants to end. Karmic Collective is realizing that they can't do anything to stop you two from coming together. Let's see what else. What else, universe? What other lessons are being learned by the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine with this reconciliation energy that's really important for their community around them? Okay, what else is awakening within the two? What else do they need to know about reconciliation? Why are they coming together again? Why are they forgiving each other and coming together again? Okay, so we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is someone that you have a contract with, a spiritual contract with. Soulmate too tells me like, yes, this is somebody that, um, you know, you have something strong here with, something to accomplish. Uh, and again, I keep getting strong energies of nothing is going to stand in the way of these two connecting. Let's put these back because that's way too many. Um, but remember how I just said that's your job, Divine Feminine? I feel like this energy, this soulmate, realizing that two people have a connection that it's weird, it's odd. Um, people are sick and tired at this time of trying to explain this connection between you two and also trying to get in between it. People are throwing in the towel. People are just sick and tired and fed up. Even with the whole karmic collective, I feel like everybody around this karmic collective is like, listen, leave that divine masculine alone. Feminines. You know what? You need to leave that divine feminine alone because they're meant for something else like just let it go i feel like people are sick and tired of the loops that are happening within the divine masculine collective or divine feminine collective and karmic situations okay so um people are starting to see just let this be like that is what i'm getting and i said that in the last reading let go of control issues people are like yo just let that shit be like why don't you just see where it goes because obviously it keeps coming back right we have past life relationship that i'm really drawn to religious factors as well that's why i'm saying you're a weirdo divine feminine <laughs> but in the best way possible um i feel like these spiritual factors are affecting this connection and everybody is um everybody's seeing it okay you're turning people into believers people never believed in like love at first sight and you know serendipitous connections and things that are just destined and meant to be but you two <laughs> you guys are making people believers at this point another thing too i'm picking up on the collective of you two connecting with one another and how it affects your community around you um because people are seeing this like time and space no bounds like time and space at no bounds this connection between you two i feel like you're also inspiring other people who are in either like mundane living situations like you're inspiring them to seize the day like take more risks um if this could exist between you two, then there must be some kind of magic in the air or manifestation must be real or law of attraction must be real. Like there must be something bigger out there. I feel like that's what a lot of communities are starting to see with genuine twin flames who are around them, especially years of no contact. Then all of a sudden, boom, these connections are starting to resurface with a passion. Tsunamis could be a big thing, guys, as well. Um, for many of you who are picking up on this whole reset vibe of the connection between you and your counterpart okay we have new love because they're going to be showing up as a new version of themselves um they've shed a lot okay with release your ex and forgiveness and learning they've released a lot and i feel like you've released a lot too 
you can't hold on to it is what i'm getting from the universe the universe has plans for you that's why many of you are not in control of these journeys and the more you try to control it the more you feel like you are being controlled by tarot readers by trying to figure out the outcome by trying to figure out what the next move is what the energy shifts are uh, what is this new moon bringing rather than just releasing control and letting it go and focusing on the things that are right in front of you um, i feel like the more you do that, the more you two kind of shed and, and you show up in a more present way towards each other. I was going to get into a really deep message, but I feel like I'm going to lose you guys if I end up getting into that deep message about why you two are showing up as this new version of yourself. Um, but I'll save it for another reading. It has a lot to do with like other people learning from you, okay? Being more, more present um, in the world, staying away from distractions, okay? You represent that to your divine masculines, divine feminine. It's safe for you to love. I feel like this is also representing that it's safe for you to trust that there's a reconciliation happening for a reason. Um, again, I'm hearing the universe saying to me, like, they may not like their connection to this person. Yes, it might bring a lot of turmoil, but like you signed up for this. You're safe. The universe has this in its hands. You know, that's why, again, many of you cannot control your feelings towards this person. Your twin could be separate from you for years and then the universe will be like, let them bump into each other at the gas station. Boom. <laughs> and then, you know, all of a sudden those feelings like that wave or that tsunami comes rushing back in. And, um, you know, that passion is there again. You're wanting to dive back in, give this thing a chance. All of a sudden the optimism returns. And I feel like these energies are coming back, whether you guys like it or not. The passion, staying optimistic about one, one another, giving this a chance. The universe is saying to you guys, oh, you're not done yet. No, <laughs> like that tumble you two did down the hill there. No, dust your knees off and let's go. Okay, because there's more to be experienced with one another. And right now I feel like you two are at the part of the journey where the separation is ending off gear up for a lot of that passion and that romance and try not to put too much thought or emphasis on oh god yeah i'm gonna open up pandora's box again with this person and i know that the future um is gonna hold this and we're gonna separate again and i like let go of control issues and allow the universe to um to, to to reveal things to you and to show you it's safe for you to love i feel like the collective has gone through this whole like you know, like your nerves are shot, your brain is fried. Um, a lot of the tarot readings as well that many of us have been engaging in or listening to some of the titles, they're not meant for twin flames. They're meant for a general collective, you know, but some of us may get warped into that. And then we start plotting and planning and strategizing in our heads. And, you know, it really does again, feed into this whole, I'm in control of this when we're really not okay and i feel like many of us are gearing up to get ready to see just how much we're not in control like many of you are getting to see how the universe is the one that's in control of these connections and what it's meant to help teach us and learn and what we're meant to heal from so i feel like the more the collective absorbs this understanding of like understanding the assignment got it um the more we're going to experience a lot less you know turmoil and and um longing for and needing like the readings and the outcomes and need to know I, I do feel like a big shift coming into just helping support each other at this time like what do i need to do to heal it's like you know more energy surrounding like the what do i need to do you know supporting each other i think too like a lot of us are going to get out and like vlog more um is, is something big that i see because we're going to need each other like we're going to really need each other to connect and we're going to end up finding comfort in the little things of like seeing people who are genuinely on the twin flame journey like you know go through a simple day and like seeing somebody maintain and staying their high vibration while going through the motions of their life you know versus kind of just sitting down and like you know staying attached to the cards so join me in memberships guys as i go on that journey because i'll probably um keep any kind of vlogging or showing my face a lot on camera and letting you into my space and my home and like you know with me in my car and on my drives definitely save it for memberships because i know that you guys who are hitting me up there behind the scenes are are people who truly support me or resonate with with the readings and the work and that's you know who i definitely want to connect with um so yeah join me there otherwise i totally screwed up the live today and gave you guys the wrong dates so i'm gonna get behind the scenes and kind of fix that do damage control and properly um advertise it to you guys and um just let you know when i will be 
you know, properly scheduled to go on and answer your questions. And again, for those of you who do not want your questions aired out live, you can still book the slot and then mention in your message, hey, could you kindly send this as a recorded message rather than blasting my shit out on YouTube live? So um, that's another option for many of you, okay? And your message to me when you pre-book the live, just say, P.S., please send us recorded message. So that way I know to convert that instead of reading it out live in the public um, YouTube setting or in the YouTube reading, I will uh, privately send you your own recorded video, okay? So hit up the description box, guys. I will definitely put a lot more visuals out there for you guys to see. I know not everybody is viewing the description box when you're listening to a reading, so I will make sure and I will put out shorts for you guys to view to know when it is I am going live. Make sure I provide links in the community that are very easy, easy for you to click on and find me over at hipsy.com. All right, guys? So check me out. Don't be shy. I love you guys. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next reading, okay? Bye, guys. Thank you for all of your support. I love you guys. Bye.